that Astra vaccine, Alex, as well, really critical to what is happening in India right now. Uh, they are vaccinating huge numbers of people, but the population absolutely enormous. And that race uh, at the moment really kind of touch and go. Now, despite the EU health regulators' conclusions yesterday around this time that the benefits of the Astra vaccine outweigh the risk, the European Union is still very much divided on how to interpret and implement that safety report. Uh, the Health Commissioner, Stella Kyriakides, calling on the bloc's governments to forge a coordinated strategy, saying it will be, quote, key for us to speak with one voice. Despite that, Germany now looking to speed up uh, the country's vaccination drive by spreading out the time gap between the first and second doses. Other countries, many countries, uh, basically limiting the Astra shot to the over 60s. But behind all of this is a pickup in the vaccination rate across Europe, which is really positive and maybe a little underreported. Joining us now from Brussels, Bloomberg's Maria Tadeo. Maria, I'm wondering, and this is a question that I'm trying to figure out right now, whether or not we have reached kind of peak pessimism when it comes to Europe. Case counts, hospitalizations still remain incredibly high. Europe can't get its act together and be on the same page when it comes to what to do with the various shots that it does have at its disposal. Yet you sent me an email earlier on which basically highlighted the fact that we are seeing a significant pickup in the vaccination rate. Yes, Guy, and, and really to, to me now in, in continental Europe and being here in Brussels, that is what seems to be the next story. We've talked about Europe being a mess at the beginning. We've talked about a very slow rollout. But if you look at the numbers right now on the table, they're painting a picture that is much more nuanced, but also more optimistic. Yesterday, Germany had a monster day when it comes to vaccinations. It's vaccinating more than 60,000 people. That is essentially what the UK would do in a good day. They now managed to bring in the GP, the general practice, to help out the French today confirming we are going to hit 10 million vaccinated people by mid-April. Then we're going to take it to 20 in May, and then we're going to take it to 30 in June. We also had the Spanish uh, prime minister say distribution will triple in the second quarter, and we are going to get to herd immunity in August. So that is a month before schedule. Remember, they always said September 21st was the cutoff date for herd immunity. So again, we do need to see whether that momentum picks up. But, Guy, I think it's undeniable that the tone has changed 